Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic is design transfer. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If this is the first executive series video that you've seen, please go back and check out the introduction to the executive series. In the video description below, you can find links to any supporting information and a summary of the material that we will cover. In my executive series, we have four general agenda topics. You can see those in the progress bar below. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video for your bonus three questions. Our requirement today, design transfer, comes directly from 820.30H and ISO 1345 section 7.3 Point eight. Design transfer in five words. Move the design into manufacturing. We have to have a procedure that defines how we do design transfer. 1345 has much more detailed requirements for design transfer than 820 does. During design transfer, we are taking all of the design outputs and we're moving them from the design part of the business into the manufacturing part of the business. Basically, during design transfer, we build the device master record. Normally when you do this, you'll have a design transfer plan. And then once all the activities are complete, you will have a summary report or a design transfer report. And for most companies, you will do a design review after all transfer activities are complete. So how do I know design transfer is working? Well, first, you have an approved design transfer plan that is developed by a cross-functional team. Second, the design transfer itself is a partnership between design, manufacturing, production, installation, servicing. It's not the first time they've spoken. They've worked together on the design outputs. You're moving those design items over into manufacturing. And then finally, your process validations are all complete before your design transfer closes. So how do I know this is not working? Well, first, your design transfer plan is developed by one group and it's missing very important areas. Second, your device master record is missing important elements and you have audit findings after the fact highlighting inconsistencies in your device master record. And then finally, your process validations are not complete before the product launches. Now for those three bonus questions. First, do we have a template that we use to ensure that we have a complete design transfer plan? Second, who has to approve the design transfer plan? Then finally, can we actually launch a product to market without all the items on the design transfer checklist being complete? If yes, why? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.